Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What's up guys, Dodes Academy here and today we're going to be talking about the new meta with Abaddon in the offlane position. This hero currently has the second highest win rate at 57.28%, only behind Spectre. In this meta, the hero is currently being most played at the 5k plus bracket at 16.75% of the time. However, he has the highest win rate in the 2 to 3k bracket at 58.78%. Now, this is huge because this hero has been getting gradual buffs over the past few patches and the talent trees that this hero has is one of the best in the game. He is able to get 20% XP gain at level 10, which is actually huge because when you get to level 25, you are going to be dominant. The level 15 talent is, is alright, you will always go for the plus 200 mana. However, at level 20, the 15% cooldown reduction is huge. It works for all of his skills, all of his abilities, and it synergizes very well with an item that this hero gets a lot now in this meta that I'll explain in a second. At level 25, the plus 300 Apophit Shield Health is by far one of the best things that this hero has. It literally makes him almost unkillable. It's so difficult to kill Abaddon at this time and it synergizes as well with the 15% cooldown reduction. So his ultimate is off cooldown much, much more commonly now. Now onto the item that makes this hero in this patch. It has to be Hand of Midas because you're going to be putting Abaddon in the off lane and in a meta where people are picking position 4s to be roaming around the map. Leaving an Abaddon in the off lane, you might think, oh, he won't be able to farm, it's going to be very difficult. That's why Hand of Midas is the best pickup for Abaddon right now. The 20% XP gain and the 15% cooldown reduction talents are also affecting Hand of Midas, meaning that you're going to get more XP from your Hand of Midas and you're going to have it at a reduced cooldown, which means you're going to be able to get more golden XP quicker than you normally would. Now, in terms of the items that people are getting on Abaddon right now, the most popular ones are getting Midas first and then rushing a Radiance. Now, you may think this is more of a DPS build. It's actually not because Radiance is used for split pushing and also it's used to deny against the enemy initiators. For example, you won't be able to blink if you're in range of the Radiance passive aura. Occasionally people follow up with items like Manta and Octarine Core, but also sometimes going Aghanim Scepter is common. There's another build for Abaddon in this meta, and that is the Vlad's 4 Staff Lotus Orb and similar items. However, this kind of build was only really used when the team with Abaddon already had a core with Irradiance like Alchemist, Spectre or Naga Siren. So it's kind of like we're getting two types of main builds in terms of utilities for Abaddon. However, this hero right now is doing very well because of the talents being able to buff him a lot. A very strong hero right now and a lot of pros in the pro scene are using this tactic to put Abaddon in the offlane, get an early Midas and then you're able to farm really, really quickly because you're getting solo XP from the offlane as well as you've got the talents with the XP gain and lower cooldowns which affect Hand of Midas and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating below if you did and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.